Hello everyone, welcome back to more Storybook Brawl, and uh, I've got some great news. Today we have a new patch. Um, I discovered this patch because it hit midway through a video, and the game started bugging out, and things were weird colors. Um, I wanted to keep recording through the video because I thought it would be kind of a fun one to go, you know, just post and have fun with, but eventually the game just froze. So, <laughs> I hopped out of that, and now I'm going to, going to be reviewing these changes. Um, I have not looked at these at all, so I'm going in just as fresh as you are. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. Hero changes, Midas. We're moving to, you only need two copies to upgrade a character, but they don't give you a treasure. Um... Okay. I see, okay. So it took me a second to understand this. Um, they explain it here. King Midas may turn everything he touches to gold, but that doesn't mean he can't enjoy a quest or two. The new version will now see quest characters in the shop and can gain treasures by completing those quests. So they changed the wording here to allow you to, um, to have quests, to take questing characters and get actual treasures, which is really interesting. I think this is a buff that King Midas needed because one of the best things you can do with Midas is Royals, but you miss out on Cinderella, you miss out on Lancelot, you miss out on Hercules. Um, so now they fixed that. I think that's a really good change. It also opens them up to Dwarves a little bit, because now you can get Princess White. Um, so I, I like the change to King Midas. I'm going to have to try him out. Uh, he definitely needed a buff, so I'm very happy to see that. Uh, the Sphinx is moving to when you level up, your spells are free this round. Interesting. Um, so they actually nerfed the Sphinx, which I don't think I saw coming. But, okay. So you just, you don't get the uh, extra spell in the shop. But you do get turns where your spells are free. So now, this feels like if you don't get a uh, Crystal Ball, then the Sphinx is just a terrible hero, right? Maybe not terrible, because you can get free XP spells. I don't know. This seems strange. Um, but, you know, I'm just playing to have fun and kind of casually. I'm not looking anything up or even really watching major events. So it's possible this was, like, way stronger than I thought it was. But I didn't expect the Sphinx to get a nerf. Um, I guess that's it for hero changes. Next we have card changes. So Good Boy now says, Give your other good characters my attack and health this roll. So I guess this keeps Copycat from going off with Good Boy. I'm assuming the change is the same thing here on Friendly Spirit. Yeah, one of your other characters. So yeah, they're just trying to make sure that you can't uh, use Copycat to buff the Good Boy and then another Copycat to buff that Good Boy and so on and so forth. That was one of the strongest end games you could possibly get and it was really held together with the Friendly Spirit mid game. So I see what they're doing here. This is a good change. Um, it's definitely going to change the meta up a little bit. I'm not sure if it changes a whole lot. Like, you're still going to want to run Good Boy. But maybe not with Copycat anymore. Or maybe with Copycat, but... I don't know. It takes away, the, like, the ridiculous numbers you can get with them. But I, I think it's still good with, like, um, Trophy Hunter. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. Um, this is definitely a nerf to that build. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though. Like, that, that was definitely the strongest thing to be doing in the late game, was copycat good boy things. Um, so now maybe good boy can find a home in just more traditional good compositions. All right, Gormangand. Slay plus 20 plus 20 is what it used to be. Now it says, when one of your characters triggers a slay ability, plus 20 this brawl, and it has slay plus 20. When one of your characters... Wow, this is a crazy buff. If I understand this correctly, if Jormungand himself slays, then it gets plus 40, plus 40? Oh, no, 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 it says another one. My bad, my bad. So, yeah, whenever anything slays, himself included, it gets plus 20, plus 20, which is kind of wild. Um, that's a good buff for Jormungand. I really liked this hero, but... I never ended up having them in in-game comps that like, actually won, I don't think. So, this is a nice buff. I like this. Uh, moving on, Bossy's coming back at level 5 as opposed to level 4. 
And other dwarves get plus three, plus three instead of plus two, plus two. So just a boss lord, boss lord, a dwarf lord, sorry. Well, that seems okay. Um, I guess dwarves have needed a little bit of help since the Princess White nerf, and just kind of in general. Um, I know a lot of people really love playing dwarves, so this is probably a very welcome addition to the game. I don't think I've played dwarves as a strategy in this whole patch. Like, they just haven't come together for, for me very much. So, uh, I guess this bossy change is pretty nice. Um, Princess White, this is important, because she she's the reason dwarves were so bad lately. Dwarves in your shop get plus one, plus two. Okay, so this is just... Eh, I guess there's more of a payoff to have her. Oh wait, dwarves in your shop. That's interesting. So as long as you have her on your team, your future dwarves are stronger. That did, that's like a small change, but I think it's a relevant change. This is pretty good, I think. Because she's kind of just giving you a passive, because you want to buy 7, right? So that's like a passive plus 7 plus 14 stats over the next 7 dwarves you have. I, I like that. It's just like a passive, like, kind of utility buff, which is perfect for level 3. I think this is a good change. Uh, they're changing Pumpkin King down to level 5? Interesting. So it went from 6 10 10 to 5 2 2. Huh. That is interesting. Notably, it can't summon copies of itself, which is important to know. But, uh, yeah, this is. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this one. I guess it does make it easier, and it does make it fit into, like, other compositions, like, kind of the, uh, summoning comps, that, because I, I, I usually saw Pumpkin King, or at least I used it more as, like, a, like, a board filling type thing, I didn't really care about the summons, I just wanted bodies, um, and, like, the chance to scam people, <coughs> I'm sorry, but now this is more in line with, like, general summon comps, I don't know. I don't really know how to articulate my thoughts on this. It, it's a change. It feels a little strange, but I guess we'll have to see how it works out. No, they're changing shoulder fairies. So I have the attack of your strongest evil. Wait. Huh? Stats update in the shop and lock at the start of the brawl. Okay. So now, your, your shoulder barriers are basically the same as they were, but now they won't see buffs from, like, um, Darkwood Elder, or, um, like, things that happen at the start of the round. And also, notably, Echo Wood won't see this get bigger. So, this is a nerf to those comps, which is good, because that was another, like, really tier 1 thing to be doing. With shoulder fairies plus echo wood so now echo wood can't see the buff because the buff happens in the shop hmm. that's interesting next they're changing the book of merlin up to a level six that's fair this is a very strong kind of messed up uh treasure so this just kind of pushes it further back i like that change i think it's also a little bit easier to get i feel like it's kind of weird. I find level 6 treasures a little bit easier to get than level 5s. I don't really know why. I guess because with all the like XP bonuses, you're trying to power through level 5 to get to level 6. Okay, Horn of Olympus and Evil Eye are getting changed. So they're both they're both just moving down a level. Um, they were fun but underpowered at their level. So yeah, they're just moving these down because they weren't highly picked at their level. I like it. I think these are both very strong. Um, Horn of Olympus especially can be crazy with sleigh comps. Alright, Fancy Pants getting changed. Alright, that's a good buff. Fancy Pants is probably one of the worst treasures. Um, but, I don't know, plus three, plus three is pretty relevant, I guess. 
Much more relevant than plus two, plus two. So I like this change. I could see it being something more or doing something more. Like, it's not like a particularly exciting treasure, but it definitely needed a buff. Looks like we're cutting Tree of Life, Hidden Cash, and Hand of Vecna. Yeah, Tree of Life was just too busy. Hidden Cash, Hand of Vecna just weren't fun. All right. It looks like we're also getting some new art for Ashwood Elm. That's what I was thinking of, not Ashwood Elder, Ashwood Elm. And Toil and Trouble. I like these arts. I really like the new art here because the other Ashwood Elm art, I, I tried to use it for a uh, for a video the other day for a thumbnail and the art, not to criticize the artist, the art is good, but like the, uh, the pixelation of it was, it was really heavily pixelated and low quality. As far as like the, uh, it looked like it was just a small picture that was stretched too much. So this is a new art and it looks great. Um, it looks like we have some bug fixes, which I won't go over. That's just minor things. Overall, uh, I like the patch. I think this is less simple. Okay, it's a little bit less impactful than the last patch because the last patch had like three new heroes in it, but we get to. Balance adjustments to new heroes. We got changes to the top meta builds. We got a couple buffs. Um, bossy coming back. Overall, this seems like a a great way to fresh, freshen up the game. <clears throat> I'm 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 assuming the new late game stuff is going to revolve around Jormungand because this is really strong. And then Bossy being back and this Princess White change to dwarves. I'm really excited. I'm probably about to hop into a game, actually, and uh, get a video recorded for tomorrow morning. Um, thank you guys for watching. I always like going over these uh, patch notes like as they come out and watching them with you guys. Um, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. It, it helps me out a ton. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.